What's good, R&B squad? This is Hada Farouk. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new to this family, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is, of course, always happier. The word I have today comes from a dream that I had and a couple scriptures that the Lord led me to. I will get into the scripture first, at least one of them, and then I would get into the word itself. Now, some of you who listen to this, if this word is for you, you may be able to relate to some things and not everything. Y'all know how we do it here. Eat the meat, spit out the bone, take what's for you, and leave the rest. Also, I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice may be a bit raspy. Let's hope that it doesn't get too raspy and that you guys can still hear me clearly. So I'm starting with the scripture, and I'm just pulling that up. So the scripture comes from Genesis 19, 29. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain, this is Sodom and Gomorrah, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot had dwelt. So now that one area of Genesis 19 speaks volumes. And if this is for you, please read Genesis 19 in its entirety. Some of you are being warned, even as Lot was warned to come out of Sodom and Gomorrah, even as God didn't just warn Lot, but he also warned Abraham to warn Lot to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah because he planned on destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. Some of you are being warned, God is sending you warnings to remove yourself from a place. Not only is he sending you warnings, he's also sending warnings to your loved ones for you so that you can get out of that place, so that you can remove yourself either from a place or from a situation because he's getting ready to deal with them folk in that place or that situation. And nobody is going to be left standing who is there. So he sent his messengers ahead of you and he sent messages to you yourself personally letting you know to get out of there and this is how you know this is for you this is coming as probably a third or fourth confirmation that you need to remove yourself from a situation or a place god is getting ready to deal with the people in that situation or deal with the people at that place and his judgment his hand of judgment is going to be heavy and you need to remove yourself from there because if you do not remove yourself from there you will very well end up being in the line of fire. So that is a whole message for someone. The other part of the message comes from a dream that I had. And I will not go into the full details of the dream because it was a very long dream, but I will highlight particular points in the dream that God had me pay attention to. Now, first of all, there were these two women. One of them was snooping around looking at this other woman's stuff that she posted to social media. Now, get this the first woman whose business was being snooped at, who, who the second woman was snooping into her business, that first woman, she was very selective about what she posted to her social media. So this wasn't even like regular social media. This was a messaging app, a messaging app, something like WhatsApp. And she posted to her status thinking that only a select few people were looking at it, but unbeknownst to her, there was someone that she didn't want looking at her WhatsApp status at all, looking at it and gathering information from it. And the person who was gathering information saw her post something about a blessing that God had given to her. And it was a couple things that she posted. Amongst the things that she posted, I saw a ring. Okay. And the woman who was looking, who was snooping around, she had this really enraged expression on her face as she looked. She was very angry. She became visibly angry at what she saw. And when the first woman who posted, when she saw that the other woman, when she was looking through the people who viewed her status, she noticed that that woman's name came up. And I remember her thinking, I didn't want her to see this. I didn't even think that she would see this. And then the woman who had been snooping, the scene switches and they're together in person. And the woman who had been doing the snooping and who had become angry, she was actually looking for drama with the woman who had posted to her status about the good things that were happening to her. 
and she brought somebody along to start drama as well. But the woman stood her ground and she put them both in their place and eventually they had to leave. And as they were leaving, she said to the main antagonist, the woman who had been snooping at her status, she said to her, what you did to me here today, this coming here and starting drama just because you're jealous, this is going to come back to you. And when it comes back to you, you're going to remember that I told you it was coming back to you. And she said it with so much confidence and conviction that I knew she meant that God was going to deal with this woman for what she did. She was reassured, 100% reassured that God was going to deal with it. And that was the end of the dream. So let me get into the interpretation for someone. I heard the word upset and turning of things upside down. God is getting ready to create an upset for your enemies. And how he's going to do that is that he's going to bless you. He is going to bless you with several things that he has been promising to bless you with. You're going to come into those blessings. And the Lord also led me to Genesis 17 verse 5. No longer shall you be named Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. This is what God intends to do for you. He intends to multiply your blessings right in the faces of those who don't want to see you blessed. So that is going to cause an upset for these individuals. Some of these individuals have no business being in your business, but they're going to try to find out. And let me tell you all something. If this is for you, people that you don't even think are watching you are watching you. They're finding ways, even if they have to go through other people to find out information, they're finding ways to take note of what is happening in your life. And God is about to do something big for you. And these people, some of them are already bothered just by your existence. They're already irritated by the fact that you exist. So imagine how much worse it's going to get when God starts to bless you and they see that. He's already blessing you, but they ain't seen nothing yet. And they're not going to take it well when they see how he blesses you. This blessing could look like several different things. It can look like financial blessings. It can look like marital blessings, like you coming into union with the person that you're supposed to marry. Because I saw a ring in that woman's status as well. Good things are going to happen to you. The father is about to unveil and roll out the plans that he has for you. He's about to put those plans into motion and not everybody is going to be happy about it. Now, this woman, this woman who was the antagonizer in the dream, the one who had been snooping and then she confronted the woman who had posted and tried to start drama and brought somebody along to start drama. The Lord helped me to understand that this one woman represented a lot of different figures. For some of you, this is family. This is your own family that is jealous of you. And are going to try to start drama with you because of the way that God is blessing you. For others of you, it's frenemies, people who appear to be in your corner, but they're actually not. I also heard the word ex. So for some of you, this is an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, an ex-husband. For others of you, this is the ex of the person that God has ordained for you to marry. Whoever it is, this person or these people are not going to be happy when they see God's plans unfold. And one of the reasons that they're going to be so pissed off is that they mind your business so closely, they know that you've received prophecies over your life. They know that you have received promises from God one way or the other, whether they went to a soothsayer or they heard something from somebody, they know that God prophesied certain things over your life. And when they see it start to happen, that's the part that is going to really make them mad. Because a part of them was hoping that none of that will come to pass. But now seeing it come to pass in real time, oh, that's a bit more than they can handle. So they're going to try to come for you. But when they try to come for you, God is going to cause an even further upset. Remember what that woman said to the woman who came and tried to start drama. She said, what you did here today, it is going to come back to you. And when it comes back to you, you're going to remember that I told you it would come back to you. 
So don't worry about the haters and the people who are going to try to come for you when God starts to bless you. And another thing. Be careful of what you post to your social media. Be really careful because there are people that aren't supposed to be snooping that are snooping. Some of you are already very private and very selective about what you post. But these people are relentless in their pursuit to find out what is happening in your life. So they are going to go through all kinds of underhanded means to try to see what is going on in your life. So you have to be particularly careful of what you post. There are some things you're going to want to jump for joy. Some of you are going to move into committed relationships with the people that God, the person that God ordained for you to be with, and you're going to want to shout it from the rooftops because you're so excited. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep it to yourself. Don't post nothing nowhere. Do not post anything anywhere. Leave these people guessing and wondering. Okay? For others of you, when the promotion happens, when the financial breakthrough happens, when the move to that place you always wanted to move to happens, when you land that position, when you land that business deal, you're going to want to jump for joy and shout it from the rooftops. Don't say nothing to nobody. Keep it between yourself and God. Don't even tell your family in some instances, because some of y'all got some family that don't mean well. Don't even tell your family. Just know that God is about to cause an upset for your enemies. If they think they're mad now, they're about to be even angrier because God is going to bless you. He's getting ready to bless you in their face, right in their faces. He's preparing a table for you in their presence. Just like he said he would. And also, when they do come for you, God is going to deal with them accordingly. So I hope that this message blessed someone. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.